from Android Authority, this article says here you can get a Pixel 3a and a 4 at super low prices, whatever those super low prices are, uh, before they disappear. And we'll see if they've disappeared or not. This is from two hours ago. Uh, this is saying you can get a 64 gig Pixel 4 for 522. <laughs> okay, first of all, I would not recommend buying a Pixel 4 with 64 gigs of internal storage for 522. I think that's overpriced. I don't think that's a good deal. Uh, is that the deal that they're really trying to tell us? The Pixel 4 with 64 gigs of storage is on sale for a low price of 522 on Amazon. I I don't know. Yeah, so you could get a brand new 4 right now for 521.89. And there's probably tax on top of that. What's the 128? $815. I mean, I guess if you compare it to that, but I don't know, maybe maybe someone who wants a Snapdragon 800 chipset who can be okay with about 4 and a 4 about 4 and 4 and a half hours of battery screen on time and a really big forehead on the display. Otherwise, if you guys are looking for a good deal on a Pixel 4, oh, that's what I'm missing. Where is my Pixel? Oh, it's right here. If you want one with the oleophobic coating worn off, let me know. I'll give you a good deal on it. And then uh, B&H is selling the Pixel 3a for $239. So if, I don't know if I can, so like it's not, I kind of like that color though. 239 sounds like a good price, but I guess if you're really tight on money, I would still try to get the Pixel 4a over the 3a at this point, especially if you can get the 4a for like 300-ish, maybe not 350, but if you are looking for like the absolute cheap deal, that's stock Android, that's brand new, the 3a 239 doesn't sound bad. So this article from Droid Life is talking about the 3 XL for $299. Actually, does B&H sell for two? Yeah. So B&H is selling it for $299 for the 3 XL. So if you're looking for deals and you're looking for a bigger screen, a bigger display, the 3 XL you can get for $299, originally priced at $479. So the 3 XL has... 64 gigs of storage, four gigs of RAM, 3,700 milliamp hour battery. This is also why I'm kind of, this is why I think the 4A is still the better deal. Even at 350, if you can find it for cheaper, it's probably even a better deal because the Pixel 4A is double the storage, 128 gigs. The chipset's better. I don't know if it's that much better, but it's better. And you get an extra year of support because the 3A is now over a year old. I would still, I know that they make these articles because you know they wanna make the deals and show them there and I'm sure they get affiliate links and whatever. But personally for me, if I were to recommend, unless you needed the absolute cheapest deal, then sure, the 3A and the 3A XL are probably really good deals at that price for under 250, for under 300 for the XL, but I would still consider getting a 4A if the 4A is too small of a form factor, there is the 4A 5G, but at $500, then you're pushing the price, especially if you're looking for a cheaper deal. But it doesn't mean that there aren't 4A 5G deals around. You just might need to do like Google Fi or you got to look around. 